What is there a problem, officer? Citizen, what is your name? My name is James Tiberius Kirk. If you don't tell me your name, I'm gonna have to make one up. It's Uhura. Uhura? No way. That's the name I was gonna make up for you. I'm impressed. For a moment there, I thought you were just a dumb hick who only has sex with farm animals. Well, not only. <laughs> You like being the only genius level repeat offender in the Midwest? Maybe I love it. Look. Four years? Do it in three. Two Klingon vessels have entered the neutral zone and are locking weapons on us. That's okay? That's okay? Yeah, don't worry about it. I don't believe in no-win scenarios. Who was that pointy-eared bastard? I don't know, but I like him. I, I don't know you. I am Spock. Bullshit. You gotta be kidding me. Thanks for the support. Attention crew of the Enterprise, this is James Kirk. Mr. Spock has resigned commission and advanced me to acting captain. I know you were all expecting to regroup with the fleet, but I'm ordering a pursuit course of the enemy ship to Earth. I want all departments and battle stations ready in 10 minutes. Either we're going down, or they are. Kirk out. This species is even weaker than I expected. <laughs> I can't even speak. <laughs> what? I got your gun. Suffer the end of Romulus a thousand times. I would rather die in agony than accept assistance from you. You got it. Armed phasers, fire everything we've got. Yes, sir. Bones. Buckle up. If Spock were here and I were there, what would he do? He'd let you die. Where I come from, if someone saves your life, you don't stab him in the back. On behalf of Christopher Pike, my friend, I accept your surrender. Let me explain what's happening here. You are a criminal. I watched you murder innocent men and women. I was authorized to end you. And the only reason why you are still alive is because I am allowing it. So shut your mouth. ...but to hunt you down and destroy you. Lock phasers. Wait, sir, wait, 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 wait! I'll make this quick. Target all aft torpedoes on the Enterprise bridge. Sir, my crew was just was just following my orders. I take I take full responsibility for my actions, but they were mine, and they were mine alone. If I transmit Khan's location to you now, all that I ask is that you spare them. Please, sir. I'll do anything you want. Just let them live. 
That's a hell of an apology. But if it's any consolation, I was never going to spare your crew. Fire with <laughs> Moment. You're right. What I'm about to do, it doesn't make any sense. It's not logical. It is a gut feeling. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I only know what I can do. The Enterprise and her crew need someone in that chair that knows what he's doing. And it's not me. you, Spock. I'm scared, Spock. Help me not be. be those who mean to do us harm. To stop them, we risk awakening the same evil within ourselves. Our first instinct is to seek revenge when those we love are taken from us. But that's not who we are. We are here today to rechristen the USS Enterprise and to honor those who lost their lives nearly one year ago. When Christopher Pike first gave me his ship, he had me recite the captain's oath. Words I didn't appreciate at the time. Now I see them as a call for us to remember who we once were and who we must be again. And those words? Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Her five-year mission? To explore strange new worlds. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no one has gone before. Captain on the bridge. 